we're going to talk about a cheating scandal. It's cheating chess and anal beads. Okay. <laughs> now, I don't know what your thoughts are about anal beads, but, you know, I'll listen, I'll talk about it. You may it's be surprised. Not late enough. This. It's not late enough for me on this podcast. Not- <laughs> on that. Too bad. You got to listen. You, you sign all up right, to do the show right. with me. Sounds good. So this may surprise you, Pedro, about anal beads, but I'm not into it. <laughs> not my thing. <laughs> so hold on, but 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 if you're not into it, that means you have experience. Oh no. Oh okay. uh, no, I haven't. I guess if that did, if I was with someone and they just popped that out, like they that they just started doing that, I w- I would hope that I would try to be cool and like not like freak out, like what the fuck are you doing? Like maybe like. Oh, but it's a little bit doesn't it depend? Doesn't it depend on what is being done with them and, and on who? Possibly. Right? So mm-hmm. you got like you know, really hot chick, and she's got some anal beads, and she wants some pleasure with the beads. I'm all game for that. I got no problem giving her <laughs> what she needs. Like you know, and if she's super hot, I, I mean, if I'm drunk enough, who knows where the night might go? I mean, if you're talking J Lo, Rihanna, like I'm just well, saying, yeah, obviously. Obviously, so let's yeah, not let's but, not say a hundred percent no. Let's just be yeah. real for a second. You know what I'm saying? Like, actually, th- this has nothing to do with sex. It's about cheating and and <laughs> chess. Actually, we'll, we're gonna play this video. Right. I want your thoughts about this scandal that's happening in the chess industry. It's, it's blowing everything. Up. I know we're not big chess players. I barely know. Like, I, I know the moves. I know how to play, but I'm not a big chess um, player. Yeah, but this yeah. was actually this story was sent to me by Nova Dasher. He said he's like, listen, you guys should talk about this. And I I saw the word anal beans. I was like, I'm all in. So I'm um, gonna play this video and I want your thoughts on it. Huge scandal is rocking the chess world. Magnus Carlson. He's 53 and 0 until September 4th, where he was participating in a chess tournament in St. Louis, and he was beaten by this 19-year-old phenom. The kid has been known to cheat from time to time, but now they are saying that he may have beaten Magnus by sticking anal beads in his ass and then connecting those anal beads to a computer called a, a chess engine, which then told him through little pulses in his ass how to beat Magnus. He was getting fed moves via pulses in his ass, via a butt plug that's connected to some device. But if it's not, Magnus and the rest of the chess world owe this guy a big, 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 big apology for accusing him of cheating via a butt plug because that is a wild accusation. Super wild accusation that he uses butthole to beat. Now, uh, Magnus... Carlson is the number one chess player of the world. So I know that name. That's I know that name. Yes, Magnus. So he is basically right now like whatever the Greek freak of chess is. This guy, he's been a grandmaster for a very long time, and this nineteen-year-old kid beats him. And there's a rumor that this guy used the most extravagant way to cheat by putting some kind of device in his butthole. Then, by the vibrations of the butthole, will let him know what moves to t- to to take to beat this grandmaster. This is the biggest rumor that's happening now. I don't know if there's ever been any kind of like evidence or anal bees that they tested it's some DNA tests and see if it came out of his butthole. What happened? Like when was he wearing it? First of all, how do they even know it's possible? Um, Elon Musk actually kind of tweeted like a joke about it. This rumor, um. He's and the guy who's his name is Hans Neiman. He kind of made you know he beat the grandmaster and he kind of saying like maybe Magnus Carlsen just you know he's upset that I you know I beat this guy and he's supposed to be like you know the best one of the best he's like one of the best chess players in ever ever. What's your thoughts, Pedro? I mean, again, and it happened in St. Louis, so I don't know if you were there. Listen, so, that, that's what I'm saying. So, Nova, what up? I, I was thinking the same thing, Nova Dasher. What up? Shout out to Nova. Uh, I see Bobby, Pia, Jody, Bobby. Uh, listen, same, this, this happened in my hometown, so that doesn't yeah. make me were look you, very were you there? Good. Were you there to check this uh, out? I, I, I was not. But <laughs> I, I, I am lost here. I, I, literally, I have no idea what this article is about because, okay, I know the Magnus guy. I know his name, like, just because I've seen him in news, whatever, and, like, he's, you know, he's a big deal, right? Mm-hmm. But like I'm, I'm lost because let's just say the dude had anal beads in his bun hole. Yeah, in the butthole. And the guy said there was some kind of chips or a computer or whatever. Yeah. 
okay, okay. So I'm I'm thinking that that he has that. What? How is that registering to? Is it telling him? Are they saying it's telling him what move Magnus is going to make because the butthole chips beads are linked to Magnus's brain, or is it is it giving him some kind of signal to do? So, I'm I'm lost. How there's a benefit to having anal okay. beads in your butt? Okay, so I'm a, I, I've been studying this all day, Pedro. So let me let me oh, explain okay. the anal beads. Uh, actually, I can't explain that necessarily. But <laughs> so this Neiman kid, he's 19 years old, very young to be a you know again Magnus. He's like LeBron James. Like so, yeah. imagine a rookie just mopping the floor with Le LeBron James at his peak when LeBron James is prime. It's a little weird, right? Like like that doesn't make a lot of sense and. You know, now it's not a physical sport, right? It's chess. It's more mental. Did he use AI? So what happens is, and he has a history of cheating. So he has a history of cheating before this happened when he was younger. So what you do is if you're playing online with somebody, right? You're using a, a, a computer program to, move. you know, you have your moves, right? So what a cheater would do is have the same chess movements, the same pieces on a different program the AI will tell you where to move. So the AI is following everything and it's cheating. It's basically telling you what to do because the AI is smart and faster than human. So that's the cheating aspect. So that's how someone would cheat online using um, artificial intelligence. The, the computer is telling you, oh, that guy did this, do that. But uh, you're not doing it because you're not human. You're not doing your own moves, oh, right? Oh, okay. So, so the beads and a chip in the beads is like linked into his body somehow, and it's giving, sending exactly. his brain so, signals on yeah. how to react to Magnus's moves. Exactly. So, they're not doing it over a computer. I'm sure they probably were in person. It was in St. Louis, right? So, you can't cheat. You, there's no. You can't do this computer. They can't do like voice and and you know play like a headset and they they, they know all that. So the only way you can Walk in there and cheat is by having something up your rectum. And then whatever system he has, I don't know, like a big buzz means move to. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, uh, <laughs> like I got to say this because St. Louis, I don't know if you guys know this or not. It was the home of the World Chess Championship back in like the early 1900s. So we actually on Market Street in downtown St. Louis, we have a big building with like this kind of mural on the side of it. And like a lot of famous chess matches have been played here over the last <laughs> century. No, I'm being honest here. Like no, man, been, this, is the, this is the most famous. It's one weird. <laughs> but this is and now now they just stripped that history from my hometown because the anal beads came in and took over. So, like, but this is a rumor. Weird, you know, this is only it has, it has not. Come on, that's not real. Come on, man. Um, no Bobby way. says I'm a visual learner. Hannibal demonstrated for the audience. Oh, that will get. Right. First of all, I don't think anyone wants to see that. Definitely not. Pedro, are you it? Because I mean, I'm, 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 I, out. I'm out. I'm no, out. You're out. Okay, you're out okay. So Pedro's gonna leave if I start demonstrating. <laughs> That's for the cuddle app, bro. That's your cuddle app. You gotta put. Yeah. That in. Oh yeah. Uh, I think it was a question. P had said, uh, "Any updates? I I have my profile. No one took a hit. I'm ugly. No one wants to <laughs> cuddle with me." So but, listen, if somebody's in yeah. New York, in Brooklyn, somewhere, and you're I'm watching sure. this, if you're listening to this, I need you to go to the cuddle app. At New York City, <clears throat> and look at my boy's profile. Send him some love. That's I appreciate that, Pedro. Yeah, no problem. Do you think that this guy just beat? He beat him. All right, he's 19 years old. He beats the number one grandmaster, I think, I think, and then Magnus calls is 31. I think he beat him. Um, yeah. He beat him, and we can't, you know. And also, he's denied cheating. He said he has not cheated, but he has admitted to cheating in online tournaments when he was younger. But he's still a relatively newcomer. Newcomer. Is it possible that Magnus is just b a little butthurt that he lost? Yeah, and I think, well, rumors yeah. start flying. I mean, cheating online not uncommon. It happens probably with that kind of stuff, and even like the Madden online. But if if these guys were in person, I'm assuming they were in St. I Louis, think they were in person, in the, yeah, across from each other, right? So yeah. yeah, no, I think you know, he Mag people lose. It happens. Like exactly. even the greats lose. Like it happens. I mean, this is like uh, what. We talked about NFL in the beginning of the show, like you had to uh, inflate gate, you know, and this is like butt gate, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I'm waiting for somebody to figure out, are we going to do some kind of test on this guy's rectum and figure out if he had anal beads? Yeah, like, has like, he, like has, <laughs> can you tell, like, um, it's crazy. can you tell that someone used a wireless vibrating anal bead? Because that's apparently that's what it says. 
<laughs> that um, Hans Neiman, a relative newcomer to the sport, this is speculation, inserted a wireless vibrating anal bee into his body before his victorious match against Magnus Carlsen. Dude, that is just, I mean, I don't even, I, I, I'm not even sure how to like, uh, I, I think when you're, when you're, when you're somebody that is that, I think I like Floyd Mayweather, right? He's fought, he's what, 50 and 0, whatever, never lost, you know, 40 and 0, whatever. Like, I think when you don't lose and you lose and you're surprised, you're going to come up with an excuse or even maybe his camp. It might, maybe it wasn't even him. Maybe it was like his handlers, like, oh no, this guy had to cheat. Well, how could he have done it? Okay. Well, he could have did this. Right. Yeah. And, uh, I, you know, come on. I mean, that's, I mean, I, if, if it came out that it was true, I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah. There's been crazier things that have happened. People have done crazier things to cheat, but sometimes you just take the L and you move on like big deal. So it's, it's funny to true. talk about. It's, it's interesting, but it's interesting. And I, hopefully we get to the bottom of this. <laughs> Look at I Jaywalk. Think... Yeah, Jaywalk says, hi guys. Wow. Gives a whole new meaning to smart ass. Yeah. That's, smart that's ass. Perfect. Right. Like, yes, he, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just wondering where that came from, but the problem is, and that's another issue as well, is when you have a rep of cheating in the past, it gives everyone ideas of you're cheating now because he has admitted previously that he has used yeah. um, either his iPad or he's used, I'm looking at the article, that he used other means to use the computer to tell him what moves to take. Because that's yeah. all about chess. Chess is all about moves. And when um, you see a really interesting move or a very, I don't know, like a move that's very unorthodox. You, you, you know, a lot of professionals kind of, because there's also some fundamentals. So if you're doing some really interesting stuff and you're beating very, um, you know, grandmasters, you just, they don't just lose that often. Right. So then a bunch of questions happen. Um, again, I'm not really into the whole chess game, but yeah. I'm assuming that's how it is. So when you see something odd, and it goes, it goes to the sport, like whatever sport you're into, that you see something really odd. You're like, hmm, that's, that's unusual. But like you said, it could be just, yeah. hey, you just got him. You got him that one time. You, and You know what, though? Like if there's if this technology is possible, that literally means anybody can play chess. Think about that. So you know what I'm saying? Like if I have yeah. that technology where, okay, Magnus <clears throat> made this move, your next best move or whatever is to do this. And then yeah. you do that five moves from now because in chess it's always about not that move it's like the next move you know four or five moves ahead then anybody can play because if it's if, if it's telling me move your rook to this position move the exactly. knight, move the bishop anybody can do it so yeah like, you're, you're copying the board that you that you're yeah. seeing on and it's all online it's probably online because you're not physically there so you can cheat easier yeah. that you're copying the entire board on some other program and using a really powerful probably grandmaster level ai that is going to calculate all these moves, calculate what's going on and tell you what to do. You're doing, you're putting no effort in. You're basically following the yes. program. They're, they're telling you to move, move your work over here or move your pawn over here. So that's the, that's the, I guess the big issue. And I think uh, Bobby has a really good idea. That's yeah. Great. Metal detectors at chess tournaments. That, exactly. You know, that's, that's going to have to be coming after. Cause yeah, these yeah, are, take, take that, the um, that wand and just rub it against his rear end. Like, <laughs> beep, beep, beep. Hey, hey, I think there's some here. All right. We're going to have to. So now we got anal beads and vibrators at uh, chess tournaments. <laughs> it, it, it also shows the level of depths that people will go to yeah, win. To win. Well, what's the whole what's the whole saying? You're not trying unless you're cheating or something like that. Like that's yeah, but thing. putting up something up your ass is that's another level. I mean, I it just depends on what you're into, Hannibal. I don't know. I mean, I all just, right. Well, this I love I love throwing questions at you. There's a tournament to win $100,000. 100000 okay. $100,000. Playing yeah. chess. Mm -hmm. Would you implement this technology? Guaranteed to win. <laughs> you know the whole, you know all of the, the signals. If they buzz really, really strong, you know you have to, you have to move oh, the coin. Damn it, damn. <laughs> okay, listen. I, I'm going to be 100% honest. I, I don't <laughs> give a fuck. How big, how big are the beats? I, don't, I mean, to get into uh, uh, <laughs> we're talking this, we're talking uh, that's a deciding factor. If we I'm being honest, the, we can go through some pictures, but I don't know if that'll be you friendly. Let's not, but, let's uh, not do that. A hundred thousand, I'd have to strongly consider it. Yeah, yeah, me too. Yeah, 